Hello, my name is Brian, and today we're gonna talk about chord melodies. I wanna kinda of emphasize one of the things that I think is really important to how to play chord melodies, and that's time, right? That's rhythm and the chord progression and really knowing the, like, the sense of like where you are in the song. This is also shameless plug. One of the things that I talk about in my group lessons. It's a small class over Zoom. Uh, if you're interested in this style of playing, consider signing up. I'll have more information in the description. But let's get into it. Today I'm going to use the song Something by the Beatles. And this is a good song that just really makes sure that you know what is the chord progression and what is the tempo and the feel of the song, right? So let's just start there, right? Let's look at the chord progression, like let's say the first four or five chords, and that starts with a C chord. And I'm just going to play through it and I want you to listen to see if you can almost hear the melody that sits on top of this chord progression, okay? Here we go. A one, two, three, four. So in that, like there is a melody, obviously if you had a singer or if you're singing yourself, you're singing on top of those chords. You're also making sure that you're giving four counts to each of those chords, right? And that's what's really carrying the tune. So now let's translate that to a chord melody. If you're gonna start playing the melody on top, well then you gotta make sure that you keep that solid foundation of four counts. So let me introduce that now. I'm gonna start playing the melody, but I want you to listen to how the count doesn't change. I still give four counts per chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And I was kind of counting there. I'm not expecting you to count as you play, but I, I wanted to illustrate what's really happening is that there is a certain time that is kept and a rhythm and a pulse that has to be pervasive as you play. Um, and this is the challenge that I think um, a lot of my students have when they're learning chord melodies is that sometimes we get so caught up really knowing where our fingers are and where the melody is going that we kind of throw the rhythm off to the side uh, but once you know the melody, it's important to bring that bring back that sense of time, right, and the rhythm. So I encourage you to do that, um, to listen for the pulse and feel that, that pulse of the song. I think this is a, it's a really important concept. It gives your listener something to hold on to as you play your melody. And if you really like this, consider signing up for my group class. Again, it's a small format over Zoom. I'll take you through from the beginning some really simple melodies and kind of getting more complex, more challenging. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Here we go. Two, three, four.